Nice little B-roll package there, don't you think? Some nice visuals are always interesting, but what you probably haven't thought about is something that is just as important as what you see on screen. The sound. Believe it or not, but every sound you just heard in that video was not recorded in camera. It was all recorded using external mics. Today, I'll show you five mic options to make your video stand out from the pack. What's up guys, my name's Rod and in today's video we're going to look at 5 mics to improve your videos. I would argue that what mic you use is as important, if not more important, than what camera you use. Why? Subconsciously, people are more forgiving of mediocre visuals over mediocre sound. If people can't coherently hear what you're talking about, then it pulls them out of the action and then your message is lost. So, knowing what mic to use for what situation can subtly make all the difference. Okay, finally, let's get the elephant out of the room. If you're capturing audio on your phone or just in your camera, it's going to suck. There is no comparison between camera audio versus an external mic. Here are five great mics, all under $500. We have a Rode Video Pro mic, a Rode Stereo mic, a Samonic Lab Set, a Sony XLR shotgun mic, and a Zoom H4n recorder. As you can see, they all vary in price, and that is due to the quality and function of each. Starting with the Rode Video Pro mic, this or very similar models are commonplace amongst YouTubers. The audio capture range is broad enough that you can hear things far enough away, while also quite directional, that they are great for capturing sounds directly in front of the camera without peaking too much. Next, we have a more specialized version of the same mic. Under the sock, the Rode Stereo Mic has two smaller microphones that point in 45 degree angles left and right respectively. This mic is great for capturing ambience or passing objects as the capture range covers 90 degrees. So passing cars, dynamic crowds, forest sounds all pop on this mic. And with a little knowledge of panning and singling each channel, you can create amazing audio scapes. I'll do a separate video if there's enough interest in this mic. So comment below if you wanna see that. Next, we have lab mics. These can commonly be called lapel mics, as you can usually find them on newsreaders lapels or shirt collars. The mic is wireless, meaning you don't need to run cables all over the place or have your talent tethered to an audio recording device at all times. There are a broad range of lav mic sets available, so as a rule of thumb, don't buy the cheapest set you find, as the actual mic and insulation against electrical interference will be poor. Mid-range sets are generally your best bet, unless you're going to be doing particularly high-end productions. Okay, moving on. Now, if you have the luxury of using a camera with XLR inputs, the chances are that they have phantom power included in the camera. To simplify, phantom power or aux power mics are basically microphones that require power from an external source in order to operate. In TV, just about every mic we use requires phantom power 48 volts. The advantage of XLR shotgun mics is the clarity of the audio. The three pin include a ground or earth, a negative and a positive split. This basically means the audio is cleaner as it can separate the electrical interference. XLR shotgun mics are highly directional but have enough spread to capture audio slightly left or right of the direction the mic is facing. XLR mics are basically the bigger brother of the Rode Video Pro mic range. XLR mics are excellent for so many different things, whether that be live events, documentaries, music recording setups, and so on. Finally, we have the Zoom H4n recorder. This is a tool I take with me everywhere. It easily fits in my backpack. Coupled with a 32 gigabyte SD card and two AA batteries, this bad boy will last for ages. The Zoom H4n has four mic options that can be configured to capture audio in one of three ways. The top mics only, the bottom XLR inputs only, or all four channels. I mostly use the top mics as they can be good for capturing stereo audio, much like the Rode stereo mic. The difference being that I can choose the capture arc either 90 degrees or 120 degrees, as well as adjusting the input levels on the fly and separate audio files. To be honest, there are so many options with the Zoom H4n that it's a great semi-pro setup that everyone should have. Its main shortcoming is that it doesn't record to a camera, so you'll need to sync clap or rely on audible cues when lining up audio with your footage in post. Finally, the XLR ports don't have 48 volt phantom power, but they are an excellent option if you have a powered mic available. 
Now that we've looked at some good mic options, you want to know what is the best all-rounder if you can only buy one mic. So today, I have come to Kauai, Australia in St. Leonard, Sydney, where the team at Kauai have kindly offered to give all these mics a little sound test. So here are the mics, one at a time, so you can hear the differences with this lovely music. Well, that's all of them. So which one did you think sounded the best? Why don't you comment below and let us know your thoughts. I would have to say that for most YouTubers, the Rode Video Pro mic is your best bet. It's great value for money and has enough range to capture soft or loud sounds with very little setup required. In fact, I often use this mic to record my voiceover recordings for my channel. Okay, here's one last tip. When you're recording audio straight into your camera or into a recorder, always set the levels and never let them peak beyond minus 12 dB. Minus 12 is industry standard, although some do prefer minus 18. I say you can always boost your audio signal using compressors in post, but you can't remove distortion and peaking. It's better to be way under than even slightly over. Well, that does it for today's video. I want to extend a huge thank you to the team at Kauai Australia for their help today. If you're interested in pianos and today's soothing sounds have you wanting to learn or buy a piano, then be sure to check out the link to Kauai Australia. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'd love to know what mic you thought was the best, so let's meet up in the comments and discuss all things audio. If you like my content, why not hit that sub a button and ping that little bell so you never miss a video from me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.